Oh, hi everyone, it's Joey here. A couple of weeks ago, someone asked me about making uh, music clips on uh, DaVinci Resolve, so I thought oh, that would make a really good video. So, uh, I'm, um, I've already sort of opened up DaVinci Resolve just to save a bit of time. And, and the very first thing you always do is go to the media pool. So that's this thing, tag called uh, tab called media. And I've already dragged the media I need. Uh, you, you can do that two ways. You can either import the media uh, or you can, from file manager, just drag and drop stuff straight into here. And I've got my um, MP4s, three MP4s. I've got a couple of pictures. This one's a, a JPEG, that's a JPEG screenshot. I've got my uh, Trio Guitar Intro, and that's the MP3, the actual, the, the mix of the song, the actual audio. So, so we've dragged our stuff into the media pool. We now go straight to edit, and this is where we start assembling the bits and pieces. Uh, the very first thing I always do is start off with my intro. Uh, let's just make the audio a bit bigger so you can see the wave folds. So that's uh, my intro that you always see. Uh, notice how this snaps. I've got my snap tool on. That's the magnet shape there. It snaps uh, you know, to the start uh, and to the end of things. Uh, that, that's a useful thing to have on. Uh, at this stage, I always just lock that so you can lock lock things so that, that you don't accidentally amend something. Uh, and I'm going to oh, grab this snapshot I took earlier of yeah, using the snip tool of uh, DaVinci as was opening it up. Uh, there it is. There it shows. There, uh, I thought I oh, figure that might make a good little intro and a, 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 a picture for my YouTube. You know the, the little image they use. I might end up using that. Uh, oh, so uh, the reason I snap it is because I might want to drag that a bit to make it bigger. So uh, I've done that. So I've dragged that picture a bit bigger. And uh, the reason I, I locked the audio is I don't want anything I do. Here, I don't want it to affect the, the audio because usually the, the two are linked. Uh, watch out for that, uh, the video and audio. So you, you always have a video and audio file as two tracks and they, they're usually linked. Uh, whereas in this on this occasion it become unlinked because I, I dragged that onto, onto it. So just, just watch out for that. At this point, uh, I would start uh, dragging my... Oh, uh, let's... Where's my MP3? Oh, there it is there. So uh, I, I usually put it onto this track. Uh, so that means I've got a, an audio track without a video track because that's just all audio. Uh, now I've pushed it aside because I know there's likely to be a bit of introductory video before the music starts. I'm guessing uh, that may or may not be the case. So often, you know, for instance, I can, I can, um, oh, let me lock that again. <laughs> I can, you know, I can drag this up and. Back, you know depending on what I want to do there uh, I can also fade that out uh, if you if you grab that you can see that diagonal shade there that's a fade out and then I can fade in the next bit um, I've got two video parts I've got I've got a guitar let me whack that here so you can see how the audio comes in that so this here is the video audio as a general rule, I don't want that heard. I only want the music heard from my MP3 and my mix from my uh, digital recording software. I don't want the video uh, audio being heard. The main reason why you need the video audio is to be able to line up your playing of the instrument with what you've recorded into the, uh, your, your recording software. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Uh, and that's probably one of the most important bits you, you want to be able to do um, when you, you do a music clip. Uh, assuming uh, you are showing, you are videoing yourself actually playing, yeah? Uh, rather than pretending to play, uh, which, you know, you, you might do that as well. But generally speaking, I, I'm recording in video what I'm recording in audio. Um, I've got, so that, I've, I've plonked the first track there, the guitar track. Let me place there so you can see that that's a guitar track. Now I've got a second track I want to use which is the bass. Now if I plonk it up above there, let's make that audio a bit bigger so you can see it. What, what happens is the top track 
covers the whole of the bottom track. So this is where you start mixing and matching what you do with your video editing. For instance, um, okay, uh, I might want so I've clicked transform there. Now I can make this smaller, yeah. And I can drag that across there. And if I click crop, let me, let's do that. That was one of the options you saw there, crop. I can drag that across and make that smaller. Then if I go back to transform, I can now move it. So transform allows you to either reduce the size, but it, but it to remain in proportion and to move it around. Whereas crop actually cuts uh, and, sh and cuts the bit you, you move. So now uh, let's do the same for the guitar video. So uh, let's find a bit where I'm actually standing with the guitar. So I'm still I'm putting my guitar on, so that's no good. So there's a lot there I'm going to be cutting, so we'll do that in, in a sec. So there, so let's, uh, let's crop that. So I'll drag across and drag across there. And there. now let's transform, transform and I'll reduce the size, then I can move it, I'll reduce the size and proportion, I move it, and now the bass is slightly overlapping the guitar, and what I'll do there is uh, I'll highlight the bass and uh, make sure the video tab there is linked up here in the editing part, uh, if I scroll down, oh here, opacity, I can reduce that opacity to say 70 percent and that will allow you to see a bit of the video below so uh, you can you can basically see everything if, if I do that okay so that's that now the next the next important bit is I want to be able to line up uh, the plane with the audio and now I can see already uh, let, let's focus on guitar track first I can see already that uh, there's a lot of here's a guitar track audio there's a lot of junk there that goes forever uh, and it doesn't start playing till. Oh, that's right. I, I do some talking. Let's put that there. Let's solo that. So I'll press solo to just listen to the guitar track. I want to just listen to the guitar track. Let's uh, play that. A Black Sabbath yeah, song from that, 50 years ago. Okay, that's me talking. So uh, I'm going to get this blade and cut around there. And get back to there. Now, I want to just be able to delete that without affecting anything else. So you you must backspace there. Don't press the delete button because that that affects everything. So uh, I can now grab grab that guitar track, do a, a control X to cut it, and go back uh, go back here uh, around here. So and you just do a control V. And that, that's plonked. That's plonked me there. But so there's the talking. Let, let's snap that to the start. Oh, let's snap it there. Um, and let's do a little fading there. Now, uh, now they're still okay. So. Let's now solo the audio track. I have listened to the audio track. Okay, so the, the actual guitar starts right there. You know, there. So I want to be able to sort of cut cut this bit off so once again let's backspace that I've highlighted the video let's backspace it let's okay and uh, let's just solo that uh, let's now uh, actually not, let's not solo let's play it all together and see if uh, 
together. Okay, the guitar is starting exactly where I need to play. Now, the bass is a different proposition because, uh, because I, I didn't amplify my bass. But what I did do, let's solo the bass. Where is it? Uh, down here, audio three. What I did do, I did this big hit, right? And I, I, I distinctly recall I did the big hit on the beat before the bass starts. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to cut around there, yeah. Let's get, get rid of that backspace again. And then we can just drag. So the, I've hit the bass a beat before it starts, which is, let's just uh, play everything. So it's this beat here. Oops, I've just adjusted the volume there. Let's move that to there. Okay. Oh, let's save. Always save. That's the best tip I can give you. Save project. Always save because uh, it's memory hungry uh, video editing and, and it can crash at any time. So let's just see what we've got so far. <laughs> Okay, so everything's, the, the uh, plane is lined up with the audio. The other thing I can do is just do some extra fade. Let's fade the bass in here. Oh, the other thing I can do, last thing I'll show you, is let's cut the guitar track around here. And then when I highlight it, and make sure the red line's over it, we go back to our little tool here, and I've got something called dynamic zoom. And uh, you play around this little green square and sort of move it around. So now if I play it, let's go back here and play. So you've got that movement of me. So that's a nice little... Ah, I just noticed something else. This is the last thing we need to do. We don't want to hear that, now that we've lined up our video with the audio, with the audio we want to use, we do not want to hear the video audio. So you just drag the decibels down to, here's minus 26 will do the trick, let's grab that one as well because there's two bits to the guitar track now. Drag it down to, yeah, that'll do, and then with the bass, drag it down the same, yep, minus 27. And, uh, and I, I noticed this talking was a bit loud, let's just drag that tiny bit down. Minus one point. Okay, so let's save. Let's go to the start and just play a little bit. See how we're going. A Black Sabbath song from 50 years ago. Okay, that's all good. So let's just pretend I'll, I'll usually fine tune that a little bit more, you know, a few more fade ins and dynamic zooms and all that, all that sort of stuff. Let's pretend we're ready to just assemble the video for YouTube as, as the final product. So we go to deliver, that's the final tab there. Uh, click YouTube and then just file name, location, add to render, add to render queue, and then you go over here and you render all, and that produces the, the mp4 that you'll dump into YouTube as your YouTube clip. And uh, that's how we do our music clips. So that was just a quick run through. Uh, I hope that was useful to anyone who's wanting to try this for the first time. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.